Hey Sonos, what were you thinking? Hey Sonos, pause. Hey Sonos, what is the battery level? The battery is fully charged. Hey Sonos, skip. Hey Sonos, pause. Why the heck is Sonos doing their own voice assistant? Why Sonos, why? Stick around and I'll give you my perspective on why Sonos voice control can be really awesome. We've already got Apple Siri, Amazon Alexa, and Google Assistant battling it out to dominate the smart home. And the landscape is littered with others that have tried to go against the big three. Microsoft Cortana is officially dead. Samsung Bixby is MIA and on life support. So what is Sonos Voice Control, or SVC for short? It's a free voice assistant created by Sonos for their wireless whole home smart music system. It became available June 1st in the United States as a free downloadable upgrade. Sonos says it will be available later in the year for France and other countries in the future. Sonos voice control is completely free. No hardware to buy, no software license or purchase price, and no monthly subscription fee. So hey, if you think it's a stupid thing or don't care, no problem, you don't have to use it. You'll need one or more Sonos products that have a built-in microphone and run on the Sonos S2 system. That covers a lot of Sonos products, including the popular Arc and Beam soundbars, the Sonos One tabletop speakers, and the battery-powered Portable Move and Roam. Setup's easy. Head to the Sonos app, Update the system software and look in the services and voice section. Then you just select add a voice assistant and follow the prompts to install Sonos voice control on one or more speakers. You can enable it for as many or as few devices as you like. You can even enable both Sonos voice control and Amazon Alexa on the same device. How cool is that? I love it. It's not crazy. It's so natural to use Sonos for music and Amazon for general questions or smart home control, all from one device. Hey Sonos, play some smooth jazz. Alexa, turn down the lights. In case you're wondering, you can't use Google Assistant and Sonos voice control at the same time. And the reality that Amazon Alexa and Sonos voice control work together seamlessly and perfectly well? Well, I'll let you draw your own conclusions. Here's what makes Sonos Voice Control really special. Unlike Siri, Google, and Amazon, it's 100% local processing inside the device itself. Not only does it detect the wake word locally, but everything you say is analyzed only in the device. Nothing gets sent to the cloud, your voice is never recorded, never sent hundreds or thousands of miles away to a data center for analysis. So privacy is guaranteed by design. All other smart speakers can only listen for their wake word locally. Once the HomePod figures out you said, hey Siri, or Amazon hears Alexa, or Google hears, hey Google, the heavy lifting is punted across the internet to their large and expensive server farms. Remember, even Apple, considered by most the strongest advocate for privacy and security, they were caught listening in on your recorded voice without your permission to help improve the product. Well, fortunately, after getting their hands slapped, they stopped doing that. But I get it that not everyone cares about privacy. A super byproduct of Sonos voice control being 100% local and private 
is that it works much faster than everybody else. It's just common sense. If your voice doesn't have to be encoded, shipped over the cloud to remote servers, analyzed, and then brought back, things can happen a lot faster. A little more subtle, but equally important, is the focus of Sonos voice control. Because it isn't a general purpose assistant, it doesn't have to know the latest weather, sports scores, or settle the argument of who won the presidential election of 1812. Now using Sonos voice control will be familiar if you've already used any other voice assistant. You can use it to select the song, album, playlist, or genre of music you want to hear. Control playback to stop, start, pause, or resume. And you can adjust volume levels and mute or unmute the music. Right now, Sonos Voice Control works with Apple Music, Amazon Music, Pandora, Deezer, and Sonos Radio. You'll notice that Spotify and YouTube Music are not supported. Hopefully these and more services will come on board soon. I've got a page up on my website at doitforme.solutions with a full summary of all the commands that Sonos Voice Control supports. I put a link in the description below this video. If you have any additions or corrections, let me know so I can keep it up to date. For me, the most interesting feature of Sonos Voice Control is the ability to manage Sonos devices. With SVC, you can group and ungroup speakers entirely by voice. You can move music playing from one room to another. As you physically move from room to room, you can bring the music, not the speaker, with you. And that's a lot easier if you don't actually have the wireless roam or move speakers, so you're not plugging and unplugging and worrying about Wi-Fi coverage in different parts of your house. On a technical level, this is straightforward. Sonos provides the behind-the-scenes application programming interface, or API, for any software developer to tap into this. It's just that Google and Amazon voice assistants have never done it. Could it be because they sell their own competing hardware devices? Or simply don't think Sonos is big enough to care about? Maybe both. Whatever the reason, it's a pleasure to be able to move music around and change speaker groupings without always having to reach for your smartphone. It also provides increased usability options for people that can't or prefer not to use a smartphone. As a local-only brain, Sonos voice control can be limited. It can't tell you the weather, but it can tell you the time. I've sent feedback asking Sonos to at least add timers so when I take my roam or move outside, it can help cooking in the outdoor kitchen. Will they do that? Only time will tell. The best surprise about using Sonos voice control? It's the least annoying. No more, did you know? Or, by the way, or even, I'm working on it. It just does what you ask, quickly and quietly. That brings back the joy of using a voice assistant we used to have. Now, there is one extra bonus that I really love about Sonos voice control. Hey, Sonos. What's the battery level? I can finally know if my Sonos Roam or Move needs to be recharged. Because Sonos makes the hardware and they make the voice assistant, they're able to have that tight integration between the software, the voice assistant, and the hardware capabilities. Bottom line, since Sonos Voice Control is a free upgrade, you get a lot more than you pay for, so give it a try, you might be pleasantly surprised.